the guest that I was, was telling you about earlier when I was with Grace. So now we have one of them who's uh, representing uh, the IYF here with us. He's called Evans Mutinga, who's a mind education specialist. Karibu sana, Evans. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, as you heard, my name is Evans, uh, a director of uh, International Youth Fellowship. Mm -hmm. uh, International Youth Fellowship is an NGO. Uh, in Kenya, we are doing the work of leading the youth uh, through mind education. Uh -huh. Yes, so through mind education, we want to change first from uh, the way people they think uh, about situations, how they solve uh, problems, how they interact with other people. Mm -hmm. This is the aspect we want to uh, concentrate on. In right. Kenya, we have so many NGOs, mm -hmm. uh, most dealing with the economic development of the society. But for us, we are looking at the uh, world of the mind. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Okay, interesting. And we'll, g we'll d delve into that later yes, on. Yes. But we also want to know, um, what is IYF, International Youth Fellowship? What are you all about? Because uh, our audience now is the youth and you are working with the youth and, um, you know, how do you engage the youth? So, uh, IYF actually is, uh, I can consider it uh, the largest youth organization we have currently across the world. You know, the programs that we are doing for the youth first is empowerment. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we have many youth who are away from school. There's a, a big uh, gap of youth who could not be able to enter into the formal system of education. Mm -hmm. We want to use empowerment to train these uh, youth. So we have our center that is uh, off Thicker Road uh, behind the Safari Park Hotel. In that place, we have a youth center where we handle programs in the weekend. Uh, we have a IYF Weekend Academy. In that mm -hmm. weekend academy, we are teaching around 18 courses, basic courses, starting from uh, air and beauty, mm -hmm. you know, ranging from computer, uh, the dance that you just saw uh, here. In all these courses, we want to give them the basic soft skill that they can be able to use, even if they did not have a formal education or mm -hmm. they could not be able to continue with their studies, uh, they can be able to use that to maybe uh, start something on their own. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we have an overseas volunteer program uh, where now these youth that we have interacted with at uh, different platform, we give them an opportunity to go to another country for 11 months. Okay. Uh, in those 11 months, they interact, they mm -hmm. engage in the programs of the youth in that. As they come back, they have a broadened perspective about life, about what they want to do uh, with their life. Apart from that, we have a very active uh, uh, performance teams. Uh, we use also uh, culture. As you saw here, we have done a modern culture. We mm -hmm. use culture as a, a tool for leadership training uh, because many people, they have stereotypes about mm -hmm. other people's culture. Yeah. But uh, if you take away that stereotype, actually the world can be able to come together. Mm -hmm. The main pillars of uh, IYF is a challenge, change and the cohesion because we believe the youth, they face a lot of challenges in their life and these challenges, they uh, bring them down. But we want to overcome those challenges and then they can be able to change the way they think. When right. they change, then mm -hmm. automatically cohesion comes. Okay. So using those pillars, we try to do our programs uh, revolving the three main motors. All right, yes. I like that. Mm -hmm. And um, now into on to uh, mind education. Yes. I also understand uh, mm -hmm. just from research and yes. you know, getting to know about you that this is a concept that was borrowed from South Korea. Yes, yes. So how is that working? How exactly do you change how, you know, someone thinks and how does this benefit someone, you know, before you start now engaging them in the different courses that are there? Yes. So uh, mind education is uh, uh, a new concept that we have uh, brought in to talk about uh, the invisible world. You know, people, mm -hmm. uh, the, you don't see the wind, but you believe the wind exists yeah, because true. you can be able to see the effect. Uh, it moving trees, uh, turning the windmills and such and producing energy. It's even though you cannot see the wind, the wind has a power behind it that is pushing it. Uh, so South Korea uh, in the year uh, 1960s to uh, 1970s, we were almost the same economic level. Uh, if you check in the history, if you go to National Archives, actually, in the year, I think, 1963, after we got independence, 1964, uh, we also uh, gave a grant to South Korea. 
that time was around 100,000 wow, Kenya shillings. Ba back then. Yeah, back the then. You know. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yes, but flash forward now, 60 years later, uh, South Korea has become one of the top 10 most economic countries. Uh, there is a reason behind it. If you check in their economic growth, in 60 years they have grown 300 times. That's if you high. compare with other countries, there is no other country that has, has the fastest growth as South Korea. But if you check on the physical conditions of South Korea, South Korea is a, a landlocked country. Mm -hmm. You know, to the east is the sea, to the west is the sea, to the south is the sea, to the north is their enemy, North Korea. Mm -hmm. So they have no way to, if it is resources, they were conquered by Japan for 35 years. And in that five years, uh, uh, Japan plundered everything of South Korea. Mm -hmm. So uh, after that, they had the Korean War, they separated North and South. And uh, after that, now South Korea was left with nothing. And the president who came uh, then, he realized, we cannot be able to grow South Korea from the physical aspect. Mm -hmm. We need first to change the mindset of the people. That is why he started the program he called the New Village Movement. The New Village Movement yeah. focused on making people patriots to love their country. Instead of building the roads uh, like we uh, do, they provide materials and the people they build roads for themselves. Mm -hmm. if, uh, it is to build an hospital, they provide the materials, people they build the hospitals by themselves. So by changing this, you know, they set up even speakers uh, within the city centers and they could play patriotic songs all day. They started uh, a program where every week once someone comes out of your house and cleans the compound outside your house. Mm. You know, that has been uh, a change that people now, they embraced the country, they loved the country, and now they made, they worked for the country. So okay. he sent so many uh, human resources into Germany, into other countries, so that they can be able to bring in the foreign exchange. Mm -hmm. So flash forward now, uh, South Korea is uh, uh, giving aid even to Kenya, yeah. you know, because of the concept, not because of anything else, but because the people themselves, they were changed. Mm -hmm. So we want to uh, lead our youth fast, even before the economic empowerment, I because even if you give uh, a money to a mind that is not empowered in terms of the world of minds, mm -hmm. it will just be uh, plundered, you know, but if you teach them how to be able to control. You know, in mind education, we have different topics. Yeah. We cover uh, the relationship uh, between design and self-control. Uh, we speak about the heart, uh, the heart to trust in themselves that leads people to enter into misery. You know, we have topics that majorly they focus on the world that you cannot be able to see. But we say, like a river, there is a way the heart is flowing. You know, water mm -hmm. cannot uh, go uphill. You know, it goes downhill. downhill. The same way, uh, the heart of people flows mm -hmm. following a certain direction. So being a Christian organization, we borrow a lot from the Bible. Because mm -hmm. uh, Bible scholars, they say in the Bible, the word heart appears 1,032 times. Mm. It means there is no other book that can be able to express about the, uh, the world of the heart more than the Bible. Okay. You know, it gives a very big story in uh, Luke chapter 15 of the prodigal son. You know, it has six stages. Someone who trusted in himself, took his money, went to a far country, wasted his money in that just living, then he came back to his father's house. You know, there's a flow of his heart. How it, he came from trusting in himself, he failed. After that, he neglected and he came back to his father's house. Yeah. So this concept, we want to impact it through mm -hmm. the youth. So we use uh, different mediums. Uh, one, we do workshops, mm -hmm. we do trainings. But the biggest platform, you know, you cannot just uh, call the youth and put them in a seminar and teach them. We uh, arrange programs that are youth friendly. Uh, first, we have uh, the IOF Weekend Academy. Okay. It is a project that is uh, partnered with the, the Talent Isla project under so the Ministry of Youth. Okay, so you're yes. partnered with uh, the Ministry of Youth. Yes, yes. So that's a good thing. Yes. And, uh, um, you know, being a free program, you know, youths, there are many youths that are um, unemployed. Yes. And uh, there's this notion that mm. people usually have, yes. or, you know, like, I, I believe it's true. When yeah. you give people something free, maybe yeah. it's not valued as much as something that you pay for, yes. you know. And that's why many programs that I usually charge for mentorship and yes. all that uh, peg some amount of money to it. Yes, so yes. for you, now that you uh, offer the yeah. courses for free, yes, how yes. is the reception like? Yeah. Do they embrace it? Do they, you know, go further after yeah. they get to learn? Yes. Yeah, give us. Actually, um, this coming Saturday on 18th, we have a graduation. Uh, mm -hmm. If you check the trajectory of their growth, 
We started post-COVID uh, from uh, last year, 2022. Now mm -hmm. we are graduating season four. Now okay. uh, on Saturday, we are graduating 800 students. So if you consider the uh, growth, yes, when you say it's free, you know, sometimes people, they uh, take it as a light program. Mm -hmm. But now when they come, uh, incorporating the mind education concept, everything changes. Right. You know, you, it's like uh, when you want to fish, you, you throw a bait. Mm. And when you throw a bait, when uh, you bring these youth together now, you can train them on mind education. So the impact has been very great. We have very positive, uh, real stories that uh, we can be able to uh, share with the society, you know, and show them that people, they can be able to change. Uh, if I can give example, especially now, uh, the world is moving towards technology. Mm -hmm. And the more people are becoming more techno savvy in terms of uh, mm -hmm. uh, working place. Exactly. But actually, Kenya is still an analog country because if you check the weekend academy that we run, uh, almost 30% uh, of the students who come there, they come for computer. You know, computer yeah. is a basic course. Mm -hmm. uh, people, they think just because they are using smartphones, they are using this now, Kenya is digital. <laughs> but even in Nairobi, we have so many people who are still computer literate. Okay. would cannot be able to do basic work on a computer. Mm -hmm. So moving from there, actually, we, we start from those basic components that they can be able to uh, use in the field. Mm -hmm. So the reception, the way that now is working is uh, expanding very well. Even in Nairobi now, at our center, we cannot handle uh, this number. That is why we have partnered with the Ministry of Youth to start mm -hmm. in our regions. So okay. this time we did in Comarok which is uh, the other youth center there. Mm -hmm. Next season that is coming in January, we want to use in, we have a center in Kawangware, we want to expand it to Tala, you know, going outside Nairobi. Because if you go even outside Nairobi, even more youths are there, mm -hmm. you know. So we need to take away the notion of uh, employment from the youth. You know, mm -hmm. we need to give them the basic soft skill that they need so that they can be able to mm -hmm. grow their life. If yeah. you compare countries like uh, South Korea, where IOF is coming from, uh, the founder of IOF is from South Korea, they, from the training of the youth, they start uh, branching off to their careers where they are still very young. Okay. If they want to do music, they start doing instruments as early as uh, five years, 10 years. But f most of our students, after now they complete school, the first course they are thinking, now oh, I need to do computer, you know, <laughs> after you have finished Form 4. So we need to change that mindset, starting from those uh, uh, levels. From the early age. Yes. yes. All right. Uh, before we close this conversation, yes. if there's, there's someone watching and mm -hmm. uh, maybe they're wondering how can they join, what are some of the qualifications that you look out for? Yes. Does one have to be unemployed to get in the certain age limit that mm -hmm. you allow? Mm -hmm. And what are the factors? So IOF Telemix program, that is why we don't uh, specify age. We have a program running from the students, those who are in high school, uh, going up to 17 years. Then we have a program for youth starting 18 to 35. Then we have a program for youth leaders, youth mm -hmm. leaders, the, the seniors above 35. All right. yeah, but our programs are tailor-made. If we engage, if there are some youth who are out there, they want to engage with us. At any level, whether you are in school, we establish this IOF as a club in universities and colleges. So mm -hmm. that also those youth who are there, if they cannot come to our center, we can take these uh, programs to, to them. them. Yeah, so we, uh, we are not uh, very uh, technical in terms of checking what they have done. Mm -hmm. But we, because we believe what we want to give them is more valuable. So we don't consider also uh, things like uh, your uh, level of education, whether you are working or not working. If you really have the interest to learn, mm -hmm. we want to receive uh, such youth and also uh, train them. Okay, how, d how does one apply for it? So uh, IYF is uh, on all our social media is uh, IYF Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, if you uh, go to our website, which is iofkenya.org, iofkenya.org, mm -hmm. we have uh, our programs uh, outlined there. We also have a phone number, it's uh, 0708 mm -hmm. Zero seven zero eight triple three triple four. So it's an That's office an line. Through that line, you can be able to register. Now we have opened the link for next season, mm -hmm. which is uh, Weekend Academy at iofkenya.org. Right. So with that site, they can go there, book a course because we fill the courses and close them. We fill and we cost. Uh, uh, next year, we have expanded a little bit for two thousand people. 
so that you can be able to cater for accommodate more uh, people. How people. for how long does one season run? The course is basically three months. Uh, three months, and uh, you start. You can only do one course so that we can be able to cater for more people. Mm -hmm. We do it uh, starting from uh, Saturday and Sunday because most people, uh, whether they're in school, whether they're at work, they can still do, uh, do something. So Saturday and Sunday for three months, uh -huh. and then we graduate that, we receive another, uh, another cohort. All right, yes. awesome. Thank you very much for coming. And I love that what you're doing for the youth, empowering mm -hmm. the youth and changing their mindset. I think it's a good thing to do, especially in this uh, tough economic time for most people, giving someone the, you know, ability to do it themselves, you know, yes. not wait for the government to, to come in and, and whatnot. So mm. you've said they can get you on social media at IYF, IYF Kenya. Kenya. Yes. And then on sale, it's 0708-333-444. I yes. have gotten that. Thank you very much, friends, again. Thank you very much for hosting us. All right. So yeah. that has been Ivan Smutinga, who's a mind education specialist from IYF. IYF is um, International Youth Fellowship. They ha empower youth. You've heard all about it, so you can follow them or you can join them if you want. That's where I put a cap on this, but there's more to come. Grace will be coming on with the next very interesting interview, so stick with us. The hashtag is one in the morning or Thursday vibes.